Hey everybody, this is the Beware reading for your sign for this month. I'll do three spreads. What you need to be aware of this month spread, the advice spread, and the next good thing that will happen to you this month that will at least put a smile on your face spread. Please like, share and subscribe. Let's begin. Here's the first out of three spreads, Leo, uh, the Beware spread. We have uh, the Tower, we have the Five of Pentacles, we have the Five of Swords, clarified by the King of uh, Cups, and we also have the Two of Swords on the bottom of the deck. What you should be aware of is something is not going to go according to plan with this King of Cups, when it comes to you and this King of Cups. Right, so the King of Cups could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or somebody with a lot of water in their chart. And it could be, this spread could be about anything love or work or business or finances in some shape or form. So if you meet this new person at some point in February and don't set your hopes really high when it comes to this person. It's just one big giant mess to be honest with you Leo. Right, the tower, the first guy that came out, this is a card of destruction. Um, in this case this is whatever you set your hopes for is not gonna go according to plan. Right, the five of pentacles the next card I came out is a card of somebody feeling left out in the cold, feeling miserable, or feeling like they don't have enough money, or feeling like they didn't get the job, they didn't get the contract, they didn't get the promotion, right? Um, and then we have that Five of Swords, clarified by the King of by that King of Cups. The Five of Swords is a card of when people get into major fights. When people sever ties in an ugly way, when they slam the door on the way out. Okay? This is a card of severing ties and it's just not going to be pretty. The Two of Swords on the bottom of the deck, that card could be interpreted as card of uh, crossroads. Right? So at some point, um, you two will be facing the crossroads and I think um, things, circumstances will be in the way that uh, you guys are parting ways. Okay, whatever the nature of this connection is, it's either something that's not going to work out or something that's, you know, going to be unacceptable to you or it's just, it just wasn't meant to be. It's, it's, it's a big, giant mess. To, that's what it feels like. It's, I think you're going to be really upset. They may promise you something, they may tell you one thing but do another thing. Something among those lines. It's like this this person's actions do not match this person's words. That's how it feels. So don't set your hopes really high. Alright, so yeah, let's take a look at the advice spread real quick. Alright, so here's the advice for you. Leo, this is from your perspective. This is what you need to do or at least take into consideration. We have the Three of Swords, clarified by the Five of Cups. We have the Five of Wands. Then we have the Six of Swords and the Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck. The advice for you is to move on. You know, there is no point of fighting for it. There is no point of uh, struggling with it. Um, I think you should move on and look for new opportunities or new people, new what have you. I, I didn't even notice right away that we have two fives here. The first spread had two fives and this spread had the other, the remaining two fives. Okay, so yeah, the Three of Swords is a card of a broken heart, feeling stabbed in the back, feeling betrayed, feeling like you were in the third party situation. With the Five of Cups clarifying it is a card of uh, regret and grief. Right? The Five of Wands in the middle is a card of a struggle or a card of a fight or a card of um, perhaps you will be struggling letting it go. Um, or it's just, you know, there's nothing here for you, you know. Leo, I'm just going to be very straightforward for, with you. There's nothing here for you. Okay, the Six of Swords right next to the deck, I think this is a part of the advice. Uh, this is a card of somebody moving on. And the thing about the Six of Swords, this card always brings improvements, right? This is a card of a rough patch being over. It's a card of moving out of choppy water swords, calm waters, basically moving away from the Five of Wands towards something better, towards something that's going to be so, so much better for you. And it, again, it could be love-related, work-related, business-related. The Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck, I think this is you looking for new opportunities. The Page of Swords could be a card of a research, you looking for a new job, or perhaps this is you communicating with other people, or this is you looking for um, a new love interest, right? Perhaps this is you getting online and uh, posting your resume or posting or updating your dating profile or what have you. Right? This is a card of research and communication. 
All right, so yeah, that's what I have for you. Um, let's move towards uh, spread number three, which is uh, the next good thing that will happen to you in the near future. Here's spread number three, Leo. This is the next good thing that will happen to you that will at least put a smile on your face. We have the star, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. We have the six of ones, clarified by you, the sun. <laughs> we also have the ten of Pentacles and the knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, um, an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, perhaps another Leo. Um, the next good thing that will put a smile on your face, Leo, is a wish come true your wish will be granted and the way these cards came out Leo is that it could be about work business finances or it could be about love okay it really could be but we start off with the star the star could be an Aquarius you're dealing with the star is also a card of a wish come true something people usually wish for a hope for for a very long time all right, so if you've been wishing for a job, a dream job, that wish will be granted. If you've been wishing to purchase your own house or your own apartment, that wish will be granted. If you've been wishing to get into a rock-solid commitment, or if you've been wishing to uh, marry somebody who is going to be rock-solid, that wish will be granted, Leo. <laughs> really, yeah? The star is qualified by the Ace of Pentacles. Um, and uh, to me, the Ace of Pentacles is very similar to the Knight of Pentacles that we have here as well on the bottom of the deck. It's absolutely the same energy. You see how the Knight of Pentacles is holding up a pentacle, they're sharing the pentacle. This is, a, this is the pentacle we see in the Ace of Pentacles. It's like we're zooming in on that pentacle in the Ace of Pentacles. This is a way of the universe to say, to say that yes, this offer really is coming your way. This uh, house is really is in your future that you want to buy, or this apartment, or yes, you're going to marry this person. Yes, you're going to get this job. Yes, you're going to get the promotion. It's a golden opportunity. The Knight of Pentacles is the most serious, the most grounded, the most long-term knight out of all four knights. And this is also the knight that talks about money, <laughs> right? Um, the Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. Uh, this Ace could be you putting a down payment on a house or an apartment or it's that job offer that promotion or it's just money coming your way or it's somebody proposing to you right the ace of pentacles could be a proposal card the six of ones right next to the star used to be called the proposal card speaking of the six of ones it's not only a card that used to be called a proposal it's a card of a victory success it's a card of recognition. It's a card of feeling good about what's going on with you and about what you're doing. And I'm not just saying you because the sun, clarifying the sun, the six of ones, that's your major arcana card, Leo. That's you. And at the same time, the sun is also the happiest card in the deck. So you will definitely feel really happy about what's going on. The ten of pentacles right next to the deck. This card is either a card of marriage it could be a card of real estate or financial abundance. Literally a pile of cash. <laughs> right? So yeah, whatever you've been wishing for, and that could be marriage, um, a dream job, or just money coming your way, um, or, you know, whatever it is that you've been wishing for, it's coming your way. Money, <laughs> what have you. All right, Leo? So yeah, that's what I have for you for this reading for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Leo, have an amazing February.